What's going on everybody? Josh Pocock here and in today's video, we are going to be looking at a free alternative to GitHub Copilot. You can save money, you don't have to buy GitHub Copilot. We're going to be using Cursor, the AI code editor built to make you extraordinarily productive. Cursor is the best way to code with AI. Let's dive right into it. All right, guys, so if you haven't heard of Cursor, it's kind of been fairly popular, uh, you know, maybe this last few months, the last year. And, you know, I'll leave all links um, that I show in the description down below. But essentially, it is what it is. It is what it says, a code editor. And um, it's basically the IDE. It's like it, almost a replica of VS Code, to, to sum it up, except it's just it has this AI as its backbone um so i know we've talked about different tools on this channel like continue dev and i really do like continue dev and you can use that in vs code and JetBrains. i've done videos on this tool showing you how to set it up and i'll continue to do more uh videos on this but uh, this is an extension and basically just to show you what it looks like if you're not familiar with it this is what it looks like in uh vs code so you can see here it's just on the right hand side we can select GPT-40 Mini or Llama 3.1, 405B. And, oh, you can't you can't see my head's in the way, but um, let me just... <laughs> there you guys go. You can see right there, GPT-40 Mini and Llama. But uh, uh, Cursor is actually very similar. We're, we'll dive into that in just a second, but I, I don't know who mimic 2 or whatever or this is pretty just standard to have it look like this with a chat interface here i guess it's all s similar to like github copilot and whatnot but yeah it looks very similar you have the chat interface and then you have the auto completion just like any other ai tool um so yeah you can and i really do like continue dev because one it's open source and two you have a lot of customization like you can go to the config and change the auto completion model change the chat model and if we go here plus, um, you can see here, we got like OpenAI, Anthropic, Azure, Mistral, Olama. Um, so it supports a lot of different models, like as you can see, out of box. So honestly, it's it's actually really good. Um, and I will continue using Continue Dev. Um, and I definitely recommend checking it out if you haven't. But Cursor is really well good is too, uh, really good too. And this is something I'm going to be using in the next, um, using more the next few days and, and week or so and, and really see how I, I like it. But essentially, um, it's like I said, it's fully built on um, with the AI backbone. And you could also too just install continue dev on cursor too if you like not saying you would want to do that because, you know, if you're using cursor, but like maybe you could like make them uh cohen like work uh fluently if you need to for certain cases and i'll, I'll we'll get into why you may maybe even want to in just a second but quickly just to go over there is um so it's free there's gives you two week pro free trial and all this stuff right here i'm not gonna go through the plan pricing too much because you don't even need to pay for it um this is just if you want like extra stuff and and i think this is like based on using their uh, AI and all that stuff. So if you're using your own API tokens um, through <clears throat> Anthropic, OpenAI, or whatever, um, yeah, you can just stick with the free version. But um, yeah, if you want to, you could upgrade. Anyways, so I'm not going to go through their whole website, but basically you, it knows your uh, code base. So use chat to get the best answers from your code base or refer to specific files or docs. Use model code, uh, models code in one click. So you can see here, like, it, that in action. All right. Just hit tab. Cursor's Copilot Plus lets you breeze through changes by predicting your next edit. So that's the predictive model. You just hit tab. And then edit in natural language. So, yeah, you can edit in natural language. So Command-K lets you write code using instructions, update entire classes or functions with a simple prompt. So you can, like, um, yeah, speak to a specific uh area of your code base and and just talk to it in natural language tell it to expand upon it or duplicate it or 
change it or do whatever and then it will show you the edit that it made and you can um confirm it so it feels familiar you can import all your extensions themes and key bindings in one click from vs code uh with privacy mode none of your code is stored by us uh bring your own key and yeah you can see like it's been blowing up here loved by many developers etc so there is a discord too i joined their discord you can check out their github um, which is just for issues and then um they do have a doc section of course which is here so i'll leave all this uh link down below i'll also leave continue does link too if you want to check that out um but yeah the discord here um so you can see about migrating from vs code it's very simple um and streamlined and then yeah you can kind of go through some of this if needed um to get acquainted with the copilot advanced features chat um and all that good stuff but we're gonna go ahead and actually just install it well i already have it installed but once you install it um it's going to look like this so as you can see it's pretty much a replica of vs code like here is cursor and i don't have any themes or any any really anything installed in it yet uh to be honest um and here's vs code so obviously i have my themes and all the, all this stuff but <clears throat> you can see the really only difference that i can visually see out of box is this met nav bar is on the left and then in cursor it's basically just at the top and all that stuff extensions um okay so let's go ahead and just take a look like let's go to some editors right here so let's just say i wanted to you know go ahead and use something you can either do control l or control k so control k basically brings up this where you can talk to your code so new code instructions um you can select the model right here and i'll show you how you can change models and whatnot in just a second but you can select the model like let's say gpt40 mini right and then just say um write some python code obviously this is not what i would do but we can see it's some basic simple python code and you can you can do control shift y or control n so let's say I want it, control shift Y, boom, it's in. Let's say I don't want it, then I just do control N and we're good to go. So, okay, so now let's go control L and this is where we get to the chat interface. All right, so this is like very similar to what you, like exactly how um, continue dev looks, right? You can go ahead and chat. All right, so I have like, talk to it about anything whatever the case may be and we're going to get some code you can see here it's using this specific file but you can also chat with your entire code base you can chat with specific files and you can see here we just got some python code and whatnot um but if you go to settings here um this is where you'll see your settings for cursor so you can go to uh, a general, you can see like VS code import, mm, different stuff, privacy mode, models. So here's where you can enter your API keys for OpenAI, Anthropic, Google API, Azure API key. Um, and yeah, you can toggle these on, off, whatever, verify them. And then you can add different models too. So some models, like for example, uh, I had to manually add GPT-40 Mini as well as Claude 3.5 Sonnet. And the model name for that is just Claude Sonnet right here and the number. And then GPT-40 Mini is right here. You need to get that. You can just, um, you can just use, like type that out manually or you can go to their docs and you can just see right here, Claude 3.5 Sonnet. And same thing with OpenAI and you can add those in right here you can get any model you want for that now the one thing that i'm still um looking into and i'm basically just doing it right now um so if, if you want me to like expand upon this if you guys want a, a full video on this um let me know but um yeah i'm still setting this up to see if it works and get it working but basically i'm just trying to set up um so this so this 
gentleman in the Discord community posted this repo. I'll leave a link for that as well uh, in the description down below. Um, LLM router, uh, router. And um, basically, yeah, it's essentially just supposed to uh, help you like get it so you can use uh, Olama in cursor because if you look in the discord if you look in the community if you look in the github uh issues a lot of people have been requesting olama support and, and all that stuff but at the moment cursor natively doesn't have it so i still haven't done this yet but according to the instructions um essentially you just you just have to go to the model and override open ai base url and you're gonna need to like set up a proxy url um he's saying you can use ngrok and whatnot um but yeah i'll keep you guys posted if you want me to like update you on this but i'll leave this link down below so you could just follow it and uh see if you can get olama working on there because yeah i definitely want to be using like some of their the olama models some of the local models we got deep sea got all these other models that um, that's the one thing I, at, at a, as of now, that I don't like about Cursor is just that they are limited by the models. It's also closed source, like it's not open source, like continue dev. Um, so that's one thing I don't like. I Like as of now, what I would say is like, what I like about Cursor or what strengths I see towards Cursor is like, it, I think it could be beneficial um, in certain areas when you have like that, the whole system is built with the backbone of AI, but at the same time, I mean, like I said, it's not open source, like continue dev, continue dev is just an extension, but it does have many different models and, um, yeah, it's actually, it's really good. So, um, I, I'm, I'm going to be using both still and, and see, you know, what I like each one for and, and whatnot, or maybe I can use them both synchronous, uh, like simultaneously but anyways yeah i just wanted to share cursor with you guys because i think this is a really useful tool and um yeah having the backbone of ai in your uh, code editor is super super powerful and um yeah so other than that guys that's pretty much it for this video if you're new to the channel um and you want to stay up to date with our daily uploads we upload videos every day on ai automation coding business marketing growth etc Make sure to smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Also too, guys, um, if you're new to the channel and you haven't already joined our free community, Stride Community, link for that will be in the description down below. We have our free Discord channel, free Facebook group. We have about 750 to 800 members in the, uh, the Stride Community right now. So make sure to join that. It's 100% free. And then also too, guys, if you haven't already checked out my book, Client Acquisition Code, it's a full book, essentially like a Bible on how to grow your business with AI, um, crack the code of client acquisition, book more appointments, etc. So if you're run a business, with uh, online business, marketing business, SaaS software, whatever the case may be, definitely worth checking out. Very, um, it's, it's the, just the price of a book. Very, you know, it's not like a thousand bucks or five hundred bucks, but it's very value packed. It's over 500, 600 pages, depending on the format. And we'll have a whole chapter on prompt engineering and all that stuff and marketing, Facebook ads, etc. So definitely check that out, guys. Other than that, I will see you in tomorrow's video. Let me know what your thoughts are. What's your best uh, tactic strategies or your best code editor that you found? Do you like GitHub Copilot? Which, I mean, I don't know why, but if you do, let me know. Or do you like Cursor? Do you like Continue Dev? Do you have some other extension or some other strategy? Let me know in the comments down below. If you have any questions, let me know. And I will see you in tomorrow's video, guys. Keep hustling, keep grinding. And of course, guys, accelerate your stride. Take care.